Hey YouTube, want to talk to you today about another option for your bug out bag or your long term food storage for backpacking, hiking, camping, whatever you do. Um, it's the LRP, the Long Range Patrol Rations from the FreezeDryGuy.com. So the LRPs, the Long Range Patrol Rations, they're named after the, uh, the LRP teams from the Vietnam era. And they're um, far superior to the old canned C rations um, and way, way better than the current MREs of today. But here's what they look like. Um, freeze dried, obviously, uh, and these little pou pouches. I mean, you can see it fits right in the palm of your hand. Uh, this one here is scrambled eggs with bacon, and you know, a nice small package. Uh, you got beef stew, uh, chicken and rice, turkey tetrazzini. This one is um, chili macaroni with beef. The normal stuff you're uh, you're used to seeing in this type of package in the, the mountain house. Uh, and the reason I've got that out there is I want to show you the difference when you're planning your bug out bag or especially if you're a backpacker, uh, you, you want the smallest available package and you want lightweight. Same goes with your with your bug out bag. You don't want to be carrying around a lot of big bulky items like this right here. And a lot of guys, you know, I mean you can fold this over, stick it in there. But here's the difference. Um, this is 4.80 ounces. Uh, 136 grams of chili mac with beef, okay? This is 4.80 ounces, 136 grams of chili mac with beef. It's the same thing, folks. This one fits in the palm of your hand. This one definitely doesn't. <laughs> so, I, I think the main thing for me here is I can carry this with me or I can carry this with me. Now, which one are you more apt to take more food with you if you have? Are you going to fill your bug out bag with, with 10 of these to try to make it through three days? Or are you going to put a handful of these in there and take up a whole lot less space? I mean, these are just, this is probably three inches wide, maybe three and a half, four inches long, and about two inches high. You can put these in the small pockets in your bag. You can stack these up put a whole pile of them in the bottom of the bag and you won't even know they're there. Taste the same as this chili mac with beef. These are, these really aren't like your typical MRE. If you guys have tried those, they're not so good. Uh, especially the old C rations are awful. These, however, are not like that. These are actually really good. You won't notice the difference between this chili mac with beef and the Mountain House chili mac with beef. The only thing is, it's a lot easier to carry it around with you. They actually have um, approximately a third more meat than your typical freeze dries backpacking foods and um, they're about a third the weight of an MRE so a lot of people keep the MREs for for their bug out bags and stuff like that which is fine there's nothing wrong with those but if you're looking for something that's gonna taste a little bit better and take up a lot less space and weigh about a third as much as those MREs these are a great alternative um, I could go on and on about them but uh, really the main point for me is they are small, lightweight, they taste great, just easy to pack and easy to carry. I mean, you see for yourself the difference. You get the same thing. Um, which one do you want to carry around with you? But, but that's about it. They're real, um, real simple. Each one yields about 21 ounces of food. Um, you don't have to cook them. You just open them up, pour some hot water in, you wait 10 minutes. It's done. It's ready to go. Same as same as anything else like that. But um, you guys get the gist of it. Uh, these are from uh, the freezedryguy.com. I'll put a link down below for that. And I'm going to take one of these out, out back in the woods behind my house, uh, build a quick fire, and show you how easy it is to, uh, to make one of these. And I'll show you what they look like when they're actually cooked. So um, keep watching and get back right with you. All right, guys, out here uh, in the woods behind my house. I'm going to try to get a fire going here and try out this uh, chili mac with beef. A little windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay, but let me get this fire going, uh, and uh, I'll get back with you. All right, guys, the wind has died down slightly, so if I can... So you get this fire getting going real quick. All 
All right, that wind, I don't know if it's hitting the camera like it's hitting me, but I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so you don't have to hear that wind noise if you are. If not, not much to see anyway. Just going to get this, this fire going pretty good. Uh, get the 16 ounces of water, as stated on the front of the LRP here. Get it going to a boil, and uh, I'll bring you back once we get to that point. All right, guys, so we got the water. Don't necessarily need to bring that to a boil. It is clean water that I brought out here with me. So just got to add hot water to the bag, like the directions say, and I'm good to go. So let me go ahead and crack this open real quick. You can, you probably can't hear it actually with the wind. Hopefully you can hear me, but I just got that corner pulled off and you can just hear all that air come flying out of there. This stuff is, is packed really well. All right, so once you get a look at what it looks like uh, before it's cooked, this is the chili mac with beef. It doesn't look bad already, but I'm going to go ahead and toss this hot water in the bag. Alright, so got the 16 ounces of hot water in the bag. I'm just going to go ahead and seal this back up. Give it a little chance there. Let's wait about 10 minutes. And, uh, and we'll see what we got. So I'll bring it right back. All right, so we're back. It's been 10 minutes. And um, wow, it actually looks really good. And it smells, it smells great. Um, let's stir this up a little bit. Wow, it really, really smells good. Um, and hopefully you can see in there. I can't really tell. There's kind of a glare, but um, there it is. Chili mac with beef, and it smells delicious. Let's see. It's hot. <laughs> it's definitely wow. That uh, that is way different than um, than your typical MRE and definitely the, uh, the C rations. Um, see lots of beef, kidney beans, and macaroni. I'm not sure what else is in there. But it's actually very good. Um, the wind again. I apologize. I had to get out here and, and try to get this done while there was no snow on the ground. The weather's been so awful. But um, it's definitely a windy day. So yeah, this is, uh, this is actually really good. Uh, I'm surprised. Very, very, very similar to the Mountain House uh, Chili Mac with beef, but I think I'd actually prefer this over that um, and it's there's a ton of it in there too and it just looks as you can see it again sorry about the smoke again it's been so wet and snowy that the wood is, is kind of wet everywhere but this stuff is surprisingly good I was uh, I was a little curious as to how their their chili mac would stack up to the um, to the mountain house stuff but it's it's really very very similar um, and as far as it, it it being compared to the uh, the normal MREs of today or the, the old C rations, this wins hands down. I mean, there's absolutely no comparison. This is actually good, and it actually has taste. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd say as far as the storage life, um, the taste clearly it's it's a, it's a winner, and um, and just the compactness. You saw the difference between the the big mountain house pack 
and then one of these. Uh, as far as, you know, just carrying it in your pack, uh, whether it be for a bug out bag or just camping or hiking or, or whatnot. Um, I'd say this, especially when it's the same price, um, even if it, if it weren't, I, I, I definitely want to choose these, but that's my opinion. Um, I think they're great. Tastes awesome. I'm going to definitely finish the rest of this. It, it is a, a little past lunchtime here for me. But I'll put a, a link down below to the freeze-dryguide.com. Um, and you guys should, should at least go take a look. Maybe um, I know they've got some sample packs on there you can check out and, uh, and give them a try and see if it's something that you want to get more of. But uh, as far as uh, your bug-out bags, your 72-hour kits, whatever you want to call them, your get-home bags, I think this would be a great alternative to the mountain house. Um, definitely the taste is on par, if not better. And as far as just carrying them around, this, this is definitely the big winner. So uh, thanks to the freezedryguy.com, and thanks for everybody for watching. Check them out. All right, guys, just headed out of the woods, back to the house here. And I wanted to let you know one quick note. Um, I attempted to finish up the rest of that LRP there, the Chili Mac with Beef. And it was just too much for me to finish. Um, that's a good thing. There's there's more food than you need in there, uh, for sure. I could easily see two people um, making through, you know, making do on that with no problem. But um, I just wanted to mention: be sure to to stir that up um, really well. I did find when I got to the bottom, um, you know, my fault. I didn't reach down deep enough with that little uh, spork that I had to thoroughly stir up the. Uh, the bottom of the package and it was kind of powdery and dry down there the water hadn't hadn't made it all the way through so when you add that water make sure you uh you stir it up pretty well but other than that it was great um it actually does taste good and it smells awesome so that's it just wanted to let you guys know that if you pick some up when you add that water be sure to, to reach down to the bottom and stir up the bottom real well um other than that great stuff but i'm gonna get out of here um thanks again everybody for watching